The Monastery Garden by Merrick Kapolka. Yeah, Kapolka. Kapolka. Zapolka ka Kapolka. <laughs> okay, enough making fun of things. Hey guys, Game Hunter here. And we're looking at another game from the 7 Day Roguelike Challenge of 2013. And this one is, I guess, mouse based, sort of, except not necessarily. I guess this tells us what we can do as well as what exists. Um, which one of us is us? Oh, that's that's us. <laughs> we can examine ourselves. So wait, from here I can push the button? Oh, uh, I have to click on the, the screen. Okay, so that's interesting. Um, are the buttons relatively... Yeah, okay, that's cool. So with this we have the mouse being used, but we also have the left hand interfacing with the keyboard. Uh, but it looks like most of the buttons are on the left side of the keyboard. Therefore, you have fairly easy access with your two hands. And, you know, with as many 7-day roguelikes as I've played, I really look for that. Also, it looks like the screen doesn't quite match everything. Well, that's just that's just howdy-doody time. Um, I guess I'll show this. Uh, I hate to mess things up again, but... Um, you examine you, the player. You, the player, is made of flesh, is very big, is watertight, very soft, alive, and conscious. Um, so, yes, I guess that's stuff that happens. I'll try to read it as I go, but uh, for the most... Can I just... Is there context sensitives? Hmm. What's the point of that? Because it, it sits it there. Okay, so if I click that then it, it automatically moves to that and then this is the free form. I see, right? Let me just, yes, okay, that's how that works. Okay, cool. Um, so we can examine a number of things like the well. Oh, and, <laughs> oh man, this thing, uh, this thing just keeps moving. It's made of stone, so blah, blah, blah. So we got lots of stuff going on there. Oh, it looks like I had to move to it in order to examine it properly. So that's interesting. Um, there's also some water inside the well, which is liquid and looks edible. So let's go ahead and drink from it then. Uh, slope down it. Thelophile the cat's stomach growls. Yeah, okay, that's that's you right there, the plus sign right there. Um, sure, let's go ahead and take a look at the cat. Oh, I, I had to step into stuff. Uh, Thelophile the cat, which you can't read, uh, has claws, is hungry, soft, conscious, blah, blah, blah. So I guess the plus means that you're kind of sitting in it. Huh. Pinch. I don't think I want to pinch it. Let's try rubbing its tummy. Uh, it purrs delightedly. It calms down. All right. And then so we have you, which is a mouse. Um, so if I try... Oh, wow. That mouse, that mouse really gets around, doesn't it? <laughs> um, I wonder if it would be possible to examine it properly. Ugh. I can't really get to it, um, but it's nevertheless around. I need to somehow get it to the cat, I think, because the cat is hungry, according to the game. Uh, or, or there's other stuff that we could. I mean, I don't know if this is the extent to which we can do things. Well, that probably nope. Nope, and nope, and nope. Well, I guess we'll just leave it at that, and we will go through right here into this strange dungeon. This strange dungeon. It has a hideous troll in it. Great. The feeling I'm not really supposed to be here. Uh, hideous stomach or hideous troll's stomach growls. Gobbles up. Oh, I'm already dead. Wow. Is it? Wow. That that happened so fast. That happened so fast. I can't even. So what if I? A heart beats. You, the player, is melted down. What does that say? Into insubstantial mush. Huh. So is that me now? Okay. So I'm actually inside the troll. Your a heart beats. A heart beats. A heart is. Oh, and I think I died. Died. No. Well, maybe not entirely. Um. I guess all I can do is wait, though. That's really all that is allowed of me. Um, so, yeah, stomach. I guess just my parts are f falling into stuff. 
guess we can just wait it out, see what happens. Until other things, is that just, is that it? I guess that's it. Um, because there were like two hearts and stuff, and so we just gotta start over, I suspect. So I'm not really sure what the objective of this game is. But I suppose I can get the plant, right? Nope. Um, that is too big to carry. Okie dokie then. Field mouse and the cat. Can I, can I get you? Uh, oh, I picked up the cat. Huh. And... Um, let's get the field mouse. Oh, um, okay. And then, so now we do like, um, examine, right? Yes, we, wait, what? but I thought I had the mouse. Darn it. Just, I guess if I examine me, no, I still don't have it. Dark Flarbit, I could have sworn I was going to have it then. I mean, I guess we could wait for things to happen. And the field mouse is suspiciously gone. Is, is there's nothing else? T-Bush, can I get you? Nope, those are too big. Um, so, I guess, okay, there's a dusty library and a dank cave. So I only went into the library, uh, the cave last time. This time, let us go into the library, where we might find some stuff about things. Like needles and th needle and thread, great. Uh, these are boxes. Let's go ahead and examine those. Oh, uh, let's go ahead and open them. Is is there anything in it? According to the game, there doesn't appear to be anything in them because that's what the blank is giving is basically telling me. So we can examine this. It's made of paper. What well, can we get? Okay, cross reference. You rifle through pages searching for inf information about stone wall. Well, that's something. Something new, at least. Um, so we can get this chemistry textbook, too. Oh, I have to swap it. And then we have psychology textbook. Hmm. So what, I can only have one item at, at, at a time? That would appear to be the case. Um, so, yes. I don't really need the needle and thread. What would I need, though? I mean, chemistry textbook. Just cross-reference the chair. Oh, is flammable? Okay, so I guess we learn new information by having a certain book to, to understand things. It would be consumed by fire. Uh, similarly to the other textbook, so that's true. Um, let's take the psychology book up. Darn it. Let's take that up and see what we can learn about the uh, the cat. Uh, da, da, da. Yeah, it doesn't really add anything to it, does it? No, I suppose not. Well, darn. I was hoping that the psychology book might give me some information on such things. Um, oh, we also have Brother Buddy's Kitchen. Well, okay then. And with my amazing psychological book, I mean, of course I can learn how to do things. So from here, we got to get other stuff? I don't even know. I wretch? Oh, crap. Um, that is not what I wanted to do. <laughs> um, but let's go ahead and go back here. Let's use the chemistry. Or maybe the biology? What's this? Oh, that's just a sponge. Well, okay. Sure, why not. Let us... Um, yeah, let's get the biology textbook. Get back here. And maybe I can use this to learn how to do stuff with it. Uh, you discern nothing about a kitchen cupboard in this way for cross-referencing. What about this? Um, I guess that... Oh! Right, okay. A uh, jar of delicious lard. No, nothing for that one. Ah, oh, man. Nothing for this guy. Colander. Fire pit. Yeah, I mean, biology isn't really going to tell me anything about that is the problem. Um, the chemistry textbook might. Are, are you going to let me... Oh, <laughs> I need to swap it. That's the problem. Um, 
So I might learn some things with the with the book. Okay, so the wash bucket's flammable. Oh, that's just great. Um, oh crap! Uh, you open it. Great. I did not mean to do that. Fire pit cross reference. Nope. What about the jar of delicious yard uh, lard? Delicious lard. Man, I just. Oh man, I just oh. It's taken me about ten minutes to realize this, but I'm starting to think this this may perhaps not be actually random or very particularly roguelike. It's more of a puzzle game, as far as I can tell, um, which is interesting, I guess, but not really what I was expecting to to really play. So, huh? So we got a book. We can open the jar of lard. We can close the jar of delicious lard. We can get the colander, and it, it you know it probably does something. Uh, made of metal, water, not watertight, quite dense, and very hard. Um, you cannot pour it because it isn't open, and you can't open it. Well, you pour, but I just, <laughs> I just said that I couldn't pour it, and yet I just poured it. Can I do that continuously? Apparently. Um, so that's something that happened. I guess. Close that tea kettle. Drop this colander. Isn't that colander one of those straining things? I, I could have sworn it was. I just, I guess I don't really know it. And then we got this dank cave with the troll. And I don't even know what the point of the troll is. But I guess we can, we can do that. And so we learn about it. And uh, I got bashed on the head. Great. Wait. So can I run? Yay, I managed to run away. I'm not dead. It's amazing, really. It's amazing that I did not die from that. It really, it really is amazing. That, that should not have, have really happened. But that's what happened, I guess. Um, we'll get you and maybe... Um, pour, pour into the water well. Uh, can I pour colander? Well, okay. Um, but oh, man, I I kind of want to learn a little bit more about this game. It seems kind of interesting, but there's just so much here, and to be quite honest, I'm not exactly in the mood for solving somewhat obscure puzzles so I'm sure you have to just kind of learn how to interact with everything maybe use the jar of delicious lard to set it on fire to make it especially powerful so that the troll likes it and then you can distract him and defeat him or something and I don't know just there's possibilities I'm just don't really want to sort through them um, and of course I'm trying to explain the game and it's a little different if I'm trying to think about a puzzle I wouldn't be talking myself through it very much especially in a way that the viewers find interesting I'm, I'm, I usually ramble a lot but you would know that of course <laughs> anyway uh, this has been Game Hunter playing Monastery Garden and it does seem interesting as a puzzle game but uh, it's so hard to say whether or not it really fits into the roguelike category um, and maybe I just haven't seen nearly enough of it, but it really looks very procedur uh, procedurally deterministic um, in that, you know, there's a lot of things. There's a, <laughs> not by a developer's procedure standards, but by there is literally a process, a procedure that you must follow in order to beat the game. But, um, yeah, I mean, it looks cool. I just, I apologize. I'm not really in the mood for it. Uh, join me next time, though, when we look for another game in the 7-Day Roguelike Challenge of 2013. I, I really like the, the graphical style of it, mind you, and I really like the interface. It's just that the, uh, the overall gameplay does not uh, pander to me as one who searches for roguelikes. So let's just leave it at that. Until next time, keep playing those roguelikes, guys, and take care.